Thanks, Nico. A sport that originated 3,600 miles from Naperville has made its way to town. Naperville News 17's Kristen Gitchell has the story. It's taken more than 2,000 years, but one of Ireland's most popular sports has finally taken the leap across the Atlantic. Hurling combines elements of baseball, lacrosse, field hockey, soccer, and handball into one sport dubbed as the fastest game on grass. I feel like, um, you know, American sports really prepare uh, us to play this sport. As a matter of fact, I almost feel like every sport that I've played in America was training for this sport, and it, it's, it's, it's absolutely the most fun game I've ever played. Kevin Pearson, president of the Naperville Hurling Club, first heard of hurling when he was on a trip to Ireland in 1997 with his wife. When he returned in 2012 with his family, they were on a mission to find out more about the sport. What they found was that the Gaelic Athletic Association, GAA, is to Ireland like the MLB is to America. And hurling is absolutely the biggest sport that, that exists in Ireland. They uh, play in a, in a place called Croke Park in Dublin. It's an 80,000 uh, person stadium and they fill it up every year. In 2013, the GAA made $4.5 million during its senior hurling final. With that kind of popularity, it was bound to make its way overseas. To get a better idea of the game, Pearson invited me out to Players Indoor Sports to try hurling for the first time. So I grabbed a hurley and a slitter and got started. Uh, the first rule uh, of hurling is that you can't lift the ball off the ground with your hands. So if it's rolling or if it's sitting on the ground, you have to lift it with something other than your hands. The primary way to do that is to use your, your, your stick, your hurley. And if you look at the hurley, you'll notice that uh, one end is fat and the other end is cut like an ax. And what you do is you use that ax side to lift up uh, the slitter off the ground. Once you get the slitter in your hand, you can take four steps before you have to do something with the ball. Either hit it back to yourself or pass it to your teammates with the hurley or as a hand pass. On an outdoor pitch, the goal resembles a soccer net, but there are goal posts coming up from each end. You can try to hit the slitter in from any location on the field. And if it goes past the goalie into the net, it's worth three points. If it goes above the net through the goal posts, it's worth one point. Whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. However, the Naperville Hurling Club plays indoors where there's only the net. So all points must make it past the goalie. The club meets on Sundays and has youth and adult programs. One thing I love about clubs like Neighborville is they come in with such a clean slate. Everybody's starting at the same level, be it the young kids or the adults are often starting at the same level also. So they're sponges. They want to learn, they work hard, and they're ready to listen and, and be coached, which is wonderful. Because of that clean slate aspect, hurling is for any age and any skill level. It, it, there is a lot of skill in the game, but we are also a really great team. I think every time I come, I'm learning more. Starting out with the basics, they really are helpful with teaching you, um, the club in general. Um, there is a lot, but it's just like every other sport. You want to score and you want to hit the ball. Considering two years ago there was no club for hurling, and now there's four full adult teams, you could say the sport is gaining interest around town, and the players all have the same thing to tell you. I would say just come out and try it. Uh, try it. <laughs> Give it a try. Let's just play. Reporting from Players Indoor Sports, I'm Kristen Gitchell for Neighborville News 17. <laughs> for more information on the club and how you can get started, visit NapervilleHurling.com.